Hello, children. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Today, I would like to explain you a poem. The Last Bargain. The Last Bargain is a poem written by Rabindranath Tiger. He was born on May 7, 1861, to Rabindranath Tiger and Sarda Devian, Kolkata, West Bengal, India. He died on August 7, 1914, in Kolkata. He was a famous Bengali poet, short story writer, song composer, play writer, essayist, and painter. Do you know? Our national anthem is also composed and penned by Rabindranath Tagore. He introduced new prose and verse forms and the use of colloquial language into Bengali literature. He introduced Indian culture to the West and generally regarded as an outstanding creative artist of 20th century. He published several poetry collections, notably Manasi in 1890. Sonartari in 1894. Jitanjali in 1910. He also wrote 2000 songs, which become popularity among all classes of Bengali society. In 1913, he was the first Indian to win a Nobel Prize for literature. Friends, do you know what is bargain? Yes, bargain is an agreement in which two people or groups agreed to do something for each other's friends the poet Rabindranath Tagore is the speaker of this poem he conveys a strong message that in this materialistic world no power money or beauty can make you happy only the freedom gives immense happiness to our soul okay friends now let's move into the poem Come and hire me, I cried. While in the morning, I was walking on the stone paved road. Sword in hand, the king came in his chariot. He held my hand and said, I will hear you with my power. But his power counted for naught, and he went away in his chariot. In this stanza, the poet says, One morning, while the speaker was walking on the stony paved road, he asked out to be hired by someone. The king came with a sword in chariot by holding the poet's hand, the king said that he was ready to hear him with his power. But he rejected his offer because the power is counted for nothing, it may fade soon, so he denied the king's offer and then the king went away in his chariot. In the heat of the midday, the houses stood with shut doors. I wandered along the crooked lane. An old man came out with his bag of gold. He pondered, answered on, I will hire you with my money. He weighed his coins one by one, but I turned away. At midday, it was hot and the doors of the houses were all closed. The speaker went around the curved road. An old man with his bag of gold come to hire him with his money. He counted the coins one by one. But gold and money didn't attract the speaker. He felt that money will be spent soon and it cannot buy everlasting happiness. So he refused that offer too. It was evening. The garden hedge was all a flower. The fair maid come out and said, I will hire you with a smile. Her smile paled and melted into tears and she went back alone into the dark. It was evening, the fence of the garden were laden with flowers. A beautiful girl 
came out and offered to hire him with her smile. The speaker felt that he did not find it suitable for him because her smile turned into tears. With the due course of time, the fair maid went back alone into the dark. The sun glistened on the sand, and the sea waves broke waywardly. A child sat playing with shells. He raised his head and seemed to know me, and said, "I hire you with nothing." From henceforward, that bargain struck in child's play made me a free man. The sun shines on the sand around the seashore, and the waves broke up. At that time, the speaker found. An innocent child playing with shells. The child raised his head and said, "Him, he was ready to hire him without any payment." The men also finalized the deal. He joined with child in the game and felt like a free man. So, friends, in this poem, the poet conveys a profound message that freedom is more desirable than power, money, or beauty. The poet received the offer from powerful king, rich man, and beautiful maid. But he finally strikes a bargain with a little child for no price. The only satisfaction of the speaker is he will remain as a free man forever. Did you enjoy the poem? Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Friends. I hope you too enjoyed this poem. Then don't forget、like. to share and, and subscribe. subscribe. Bye. Bye. See, See you soon. soon.